G'day everyone, it's Curtis here and welcome to an On The Backward video. Today I'm out here riding the new Triumph Trident 660. This is the learner approved model. This is my first proper ride on the bike. So I'm just going to take it for a spin and give my initial impressions of the bike. First up, it looks fantastic. It is a great looking bike. It's compact, it's kind of stubby. The tail looks fantastic. It's just a nice looking bike and the fit and finish is good too. We've got this sexy round LED smoked headlight. It looks great. There's kind of a uh, metallic finish on the paint. It just looks really good. It's well finished. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride in this road here. It should be corners most of the way. Let's give some thoughts. Show you some footage. This is not going to be my review. Just initial riding thoughts. All right, let's do it. I'll tell you what, the weather has turned it on for us people. It looks great today. Nice dash on it. I'll tell you that for sure. Yes, it's not TFT, but it's very easy to use and it's clear. I like it. So this is the Lerner Approved model. We only get this one in Australia, which is a bit of a shame, but this is the market they chose to concentrate on. And I have to say, it goes pretty bloody good. It's got some shove. Woo! Yeah, the speed limit's 60 and I'm doing nearly 100 there, no problems at all. So sitting on the bike, it's very compact and small and agile feeling. The bars are narrow, it's very well laid out. Uh, could be a little bit small, I think, for me. I'm six foot and uh, the bar to peg ratio is a little bit small. The motor feels very, very smooth. Just like that refined triple. And it is very smooth and kind of electric feeling, but still got a bit of soul about it. I really like it, to be honest. It's very nice. The bottom to mid seems to have a lot of poke and then it signs out uh, up top a lot. Okay, mate. Uh, that's purely because it's a learner approved bike. They have to, otherwise it won't be learner approved. What have we got here? Look for bikes. Well, I am a bike. So, I'll slow it right down. Give you an idea how much pull it's got. And in first gear, fueling's really good. So that's no on-off snatch whatsoever. And nail it. See, it's plenty quick enough. But you're better off keeping it in this mid-range here. Once you get up to seven, eight, it definitely teeters and flats, flattens off. Handling-wise, very nice. It's got great tyres. It's got the Michelin Road 5s. Yeah, wheelies aren't happening. Tracker control, which I presume is wheelie control. I've got a rear really instructions on it. Oh, it handles like a dream. Woo! Better watch my speed. Uh, don't want to lose my license. 70. Yeah, you need to do 70. Suspension-wise, it's very sporty. Uh, it doesn't like sharp bumps. Uh, I suppose that's just a limitation you're going to have with a learner approved bike where the suspension is just a little bit budget. Um, <laughs> Non-adjustable shower forks. For me, could be a little bit more plush initially. Alright, there's no one around. Let's test out the brakes. And hoop. Pretty good. Very good actually. So the switch gear all looks to be good quality. I like the dash, as I mentioned. I like how easy the menu is to scroll through. I can just tap up and down, boom, boom, boom. Left and right to uh, adjust things. Gear indicator, and when you're not in this menu, gear indicator goes up to here. Very cool. Yeah, I'm liking how it handles. It handles great. It's not a compact little stubby bike, but it feels pretty stable still. If you are a smaller kind of guy or gal, it should fit you nicely. As I mentioned, for me it's six foot, maybe just a tiny bit small, but not too bad. Roll through here a bit quicker than this way, too. Yeah, that's nice. Now I'm just going to take it easy. It's the first time I've really ridden it. And I don't know this road very well, to be honest. Hey, these tyres aren't too bad, hey. I'm not pushing hard at the moment, but very neutral feeling. And pretty confidence inspiring. 
it's always good to have decent tyres on a stock bike. You don't have to worry about it, just one less thing to worry about. You know, you're like, should I change the tyres or not? I'm usually in the uh, no camp, just bloody use them or burn them out, do whatever you want, and then change them. But you're not going to be changing these, they're a really good time. Yeah, just a little bit stiff initially, both in the front and rear. Like, this is a smooth, beautiful road so far, but if you hit anything, it's going to like, uh, uh, uh. Oh, rocks all over the road, Ugh. I forgot about that here. High crash zone. Reduce speed, no thanks. I'll keep it uh, reasonable, because I don't want to lose my license. That's about it. Oh, look at that view, everyone. Woo, cracker. Ah, squidding it, nice. Hope you don't come off. A lot of bikes out today. It is a cracking day. Not many nods, though. I have to say, this thing is bloody smooth and easy to ride. I don't really know these roads, and I feel very confident riding this bike through these turns and having no issues at all. The gearbox feels super refined, hey. It's a little bit longer throw than I would like, but it's very fine. Uh, there's a noticeable, and you're at slower speeds. I'll give you a demonstration in a bit. Where I kind of There's a big throw between gears and a little bit hard to master. I think if you got the optional up there, quick shifter. Perfect. Right, the seat is good, but not amazing. It's definitely uh, lacking a little bit of cushion for me. My butt's getting a bit sore, and I've only been riding about an hour. No, no, all that. Jeez, it goes good, eh? Just smooth power. Suspension there, a little bit of a, a little bit that goes whoop down. This rear suspension there is very firm, a bit harsh for me. Just back on the surface, yeah, it's not like it, it's kind of uh, very firm. But under harder braking stuff, doesn't dip much at all, which is fantastic. So it's a bit of a payoff with this kind of suspension. Whoa! That road surface, just yeah, shit! I don't know if you saw it really pushed me across there. On that rough road surface, I think the suspension can't quite cope with it, so it's going sliding across the tyres, sliding across the surface of the road. You wouldn't believe it, my headphones fell off in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and I found them. Hopefully, they haven't been run over. Well, they have been, but they might still work. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the rear shock. Oh, oh. In a second. Feels a bit small for me in these corners. Uh. Yeah, track control's going nuts. A little bit hard for me to move around the cockpit. Not sure what it is yet. All right, everyone, I'm gonna wrap up my first ride impressions on the bike. I rode approximately 120 kilometers today, and that was a mix of city riding and through the mountains here. In the city, it is a fantastic bike. It gets off the line great. The motor is very smooth. It's got plenty of torque and tons of mid-range. Then it flattens out on top. Handling-wise, it's good. Uh, 
Except when you start to push, I feel that it doesn't really go into corners properly. That's something I'm going to look into. It could be the rear shock settings. I might better change that. I think the suspension is too firm as well initially. So it's a bit pogo sticky and jittery as well. But on smooth pavement, when you're pushing hard, it's fantastic. And there's not much dive at all under brakes. The brakes themselves are fantastic. I really like them. I've got to say, it is a very easy bike to ride. Like The motor is just so refined. It's easy to ride. As soon as you sit on it, you just feel comfortable. And it's flickable in traffic. It, it is a very good bike. Uh, but I want to put more Ks on it. You know, I've only put about 150 kilometers on it, 160 total now. I want to put a couple hundred more Ks on it so I can get a better overall impression of the bike and uh, give a great review on it. All right, if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button and subscribe and keep it on the back wheel, people. Catches.